So it's getting to be that time of year again where we start putting away the fall decorations, breaking out the Christmas decorations, and just going wild with all kinds of lights inside and outside, probably risking our lives in some cases on roofs that we probably don't belong on. Uh, all for the sake of making things merry and bright. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how I go about making one of my lawn decorations, which is basically a Christmas tree that's made out of strands of lights. It's very easy to do, it's very quick to do, and it's pretty cheap to do. And I think that it's pretty tremendous. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna be installing is this three quarter inch structural piping. And you can find this piping at pretty much any of your big box home improvement stores. And you can also get it in different sizes. You can get it to be longer so you can have a taller tree. You can get wider piping. Just depends on what you're going for. But this is three quarter inch piping. And the first thing I'm gonna do with it is I'm going to drive it down into the ground using my post driver. Now, depending on the soil type that you have, if it's too sandy, you may need to build some sort of a base and driving into the ground might not be enough or you might have to get a longer one to drive into the ground further. All right, so now that I've got my post in the ground, now I need to make my tree topper. And this is where the wires for the lights are actually gonna connect to the top of the post so I can string them along. And I'm gonna do that by using this floor flange. So for the most part, this is just a standard floor flange. This one in particular is three quarter inch since that's the size of the post that I'm using. They come in differing sizes depending on what's needed. A lot of floor flanges, what you have to do, they're threaded. You spin your pipe into them. With this one in particular, it actually has this adjustment right here that you use an Allen key or an Allen wrench to then tighten it down. And then a screw comes in towards the post and holds it in place. And of course they already come with these holes uh, to be able to put bolts through. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna run some bolts up through the holes that are in the floor flange, and I'm gonna put some nuts over the top of them to hold them in place. These particular bolts are 5 16 and they're an inch long. Now these bolts will basically just act as posts to wrap my wiring around for my lights just to hold that wiring in place. And as I make my way around the tree in a circle, I'll go to a different bolt depending on where I am. All right, so now I can take my, for lack of better words, tree topper and put it up on top of the post. And then I'll just take an Allen wrench and tighten it down. So now I can start installing my lights. So I'm gonna need my lights and I'm also gonna need these landscape pins in order to attach it down to the ground as I make my runs. All right, so now I'm gonna start my first run by inserting one of these landscape pins down into the ground with my wiring underneath of it, holding that wiring down to the ground. After I've got that first landscape pin inserted, I'm gonna make my first run up to the top of the post and then wrap the wiring for the lighting around one of the bolts at the top of the post. And then after I've got it wrapped around one of those bolts, I'm gonna bring another run back down to the ground approximately 15 inches from my first landscape pin and 24 inches from the post. Now I am using a piece of wood that I cut down to 24 inches. That way I'm getting 24 inches all the way around for all my landscape pins to make sure that I'm getting my circle as close as possible to a perfect circle. And I'm just gonna continue to repeat this process over and over again until my circle is complete. And I do wanna make sure that I'm putting my landscape pins at a slight angle into the ground. If they were just put in straight up and down, it's a lot easier for them to pull loose as the landscape pin can just come up. So that's really all there is to it. It looks great, it was easy, it was very fast, and it was pretty inexpensive to make. And of course, if you're looking to make one of these, you can customize it to look however you like. You make them taller, you can make them shorter, or wider, or narrower. You can use different lights. Either way, I hope this video was helpful and maybe gave you some ideas on how you'd like to make your own, or maybe it inspired you to come up with some of your own ideas on how maybe you do it differently or use some different materials depending on how you want it to look. Either way, if it was helpful, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you're planning to do or maybe you've already made these before and I'd like to hear how you go about making them. And if you haven't done so already and you like videos like I did here today, then consider hitting that red subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See ya.